Well, you've made it through the organizing process and you have an organized closet. I hope that you enjoyed the journey and had a little bit of fun on the way. But now what? You need to know how to keep your closet organized. And is that really realistic? As I've mentioned, organizing is an ongoing process. So now what do I do? Some of our old habits may need to change, but we must begin by identifying our current ones. So let's start by asking ourselves a few questions. Do we hang up our clothes before we go to bed? Probably not. There's probably that one chair in our room to pile clothes on. How often do we do our laundry? When do we put our clothes away? Or do we hunt through the pile of clean clothes to find something to wear as needed? Etc. 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 These are real questions to ask because our old habits will have a direct impact on our new ones. In order to establish new habits, you may want to develop a schedule, but one that's realistic and not rigid. You may be able to set aside 20 minutes every other day to hang up your clothes and put your foldables away, but that may be unrealistic. Possibly you do your laundry once a week, and at that time, you'd hang up your clothes and put your clothes away. Your new habits should be based and in a line with your old habits. When the seasons change is a perfect time to go through your wardrobe and purge. And once you've purged, it's a great time to organize. However, twice a year may be often enough. Whatever way you decide, just be consistent. So, our overall objectives are to be realistic in our expectations. And, make up your bed every morning. Now, many of you are wondering, so why would I want to do that? Just give it a try. It starts your day with a bit of order, and it ends your day with a bit of order. And remember, it takes at least 30 days to establish a new habit. So remember to take one day at a time. Now that we've had an opportunity to look at your physical surroundings, now it's time to refresh and renew. We're off to a great start and this is just a stepping stone in establishing some semblance of order in our lives. I can almost guarantee that being more organized will decrease your level of frustration and stress over time. So take a moment to take a breath and stop and smell the roses. So now that we've been motivated to organize our closets, let's allow our momentum to carry over into other things in our lives that we really need to get done, but we may not really want to do them. Well, it's been a blast working with you, and I hope you really enjoyed yourself. I have a few more courses on the horizon, so stay tuned. So bye-bye for now, and I'm looking forward to seeing you again in the very near future. Take care.